Hello, in this video we gonna talk about the game which gets quite fair amount of shit even though it's not even released yet. It's time to talk about Bravo Team and tell you everything you probably would like to know before the game releases. So first of all this game comes from the studio which released one of the best on rail shooters for PSVR which is of course Until Dawn Rush of Blood. Such a very high polished game. The graphics, the texture work, the character models, the very nicely done voice acting, the great level design, highly addictive gameplay, this game just got everything going for it, everything clicks in place. It was one of the first PlayStation VR games and it's still one of better looking ones. It holds up very well, it plays great with move controllers, they nail the shooting and the tracking, feels great just riding roller coasters and blow shit up. The jump scares are amazing, this game got it all. So Supermassive Games know how to make good shooter and they know how to make good games as well, don't forget Until Dawn. So when they announced Impatient there was very very big hype for it, sadly for some people the game didn't lift to their expectations. Some of people complained about price tag against the length of the game ratio. I've had some comments of you who really really loved the game, so there's very split opinions on it. But now the Bravo team approaching tomorrow and there is a lot of unknown about it and a lot of people already dismissed the game, uh, gave it some shit even though not many people played it yet. So maybe let's have a better look at it and let me tell you that in this video we are gonna use some gameplay footage from the YouTube channel called Video Gamers EU. So link to the channel as well as link to their full gameplay video from the Bravo team is in the description. So go to their channel, subscribe, leave them like because without their gameplay this video wouldn't happen. So first of all let's try to answer what is the length of the Bravo team because that's the question what's coming up the most. So it looks like the game got six levels and there is some other YouTube leaked videos showing only the first levels of the game, but it seems like they are around half hour, some maybe over a half hour long. So maybe, just maybe it's gonna be three plus hours, four hours, depends how long it's gonna take you, which I will happily take. Price wise, it sells for 40 dollars, but if you get physical game, it's actually $10 cheaper for some reason. Same issue is in the UK as well, physical copy is cheaper, don't know why, but if you can get it cheaper, get it cheaper. If you like to have your games installed on disc, so you don't have to take your headset off, then you probably have to pay a bit more. So is this price tag good enough? We're gonna have to see how the game plays, don't forget the Rush of Blood been selling for £14.99, which was very cheap. I don't know if it was sold on a cheap price because it was PlayStation VR launch game and they sell it on loss. Or maybe they didn't made enough to justify the making the game, I don't know what's happening, but it seems like lately PSVR games are more expensive for some reason. Especially the title which clearly got the bigger production quality numbers. But anyway, let's don't moan because we've been waiting for this game for so long, so gameplay wise you're gonna start the game and you're gonna get to choose your character. It will be male or female which is handy because in VR at least you get a chance to see how to is to grow a pair of tits or how to is to have a bulge if you are a female. Or you can play as your equivalent self species of a male or female. After you choose that you get three faces to choose. And once you choose the face which bestly represents you, you're gonna go and choose the game mode. You'll be able to play with online partner which is basically randomer who you won't know because how would you but you'll be playing with him or her. So let's hope they don't quit half through the game. But if you're not sure, if you don't feel safe, you can always play with your friend because friends sticks together even during war. Or if you feel like no human interaction at all and you just want to play single player, you can always choose a bot to help you in your adventure throughout the war zone city. And then you're gonna go and start the game. You get to choose to start new game, do single player score attack or of course do tutorial. Once you choose that, you've got three difficulty levels, Lucky, Veteran and Spec Ops, so nice that, that we can have some replayability. And then you have to start the game, you select a mission and you play. I'm not gonna go into the story too much because I don't want to spoil it for you, but I'm gonna tell you what the developers said. Basically, you are on a escort mission and suddenly shits hit the fan. 
things going tits up, everything is fucked up and you and your mate have to survive in a Eastern European city which is currently in a state of war. And this war looks like uh, it's basically the war against you because everyone is out there, hundreds of people just trying to fucking kill you. They don't like you, okay? You have to defend yourself. So a lot of what I'm hearing is people saying that it don't have smooth locomotion and no it don't but what they went for it's pretty interesting as well and it's different as well. It's basically cover based shooter. So you hiding behind the cover, then you shooting few people, then you moving forward, hiding behind another cover. But it's got a lot of like a tactical elements to it. I would even go so far that it's a tactical shooter, not a your typical action shooter. Even though there is a lot of action, there's for you there is a lot of thing to think of. First of all, you have to choose the best cover, not the cover which will get you killed easily. You can give commands to your mate or your bot, you know, so you work together, you have to work out what to tell him. You have to watch your ammo, uh, it's all nicely done looking at the gameplay. While with smooth locomotion, of course, we would be running like headless chicken trying to shoot everything what's fucking moves. So I like this mechanic, I think it's pretty neat. Uh, the way you move from cover to cover is basically you behind the cover, you choosing another spot and then you get in like out of your body experience because your avatar moves to another cover. Once he reach its destination, then he reabsorb you, reabsorbs your soul back to its eyes so you can see what's going on. It can be strange. It's, you know, something different. I don't know. It's never been done. Let's see how it's gonna look in VR before we start judging this. But the core mechanics of the game, I'm pretty like it and seeing the gameplay I've got pretty hyped for this game. Of course having shooters and wave shooters and first person shooters is nice, but it looks like it's a bit of thinking and tactics involved in this one. And it looks like it's nicely put together. And of course this game coming from super massive games, it's got a bit higher quality production assets, shall I say. Everything just looks more polished. Uh, I like the character models. It's got all like a realistic look. Sometimes the VR game look a bit shit on a flat screen like in the video, but this one looks nice. It looks neat. It's got pretty high production values and you'll be able to play it of course with your aim controller but also you can play it with your move controllers if you don't have aim and basically they're gonna work like your hands. You hold in your big gun in both of your hands and your hands are moves. And if you don't have either, don't worry because you can use the dual shock as well. Basically you aiming through your dual shock using it like a gun, but it's a dual shock. And of course for all of you trophy hunters there is some nice trophies. You've got one platinum, seven gold, nine silver and five bronze. So happy hunting and and the more I'm talking about the game, the more I'm swinging towards it. I'm getting pretty excited. I'm glad I've got it pre-ordered. Let me know in comment section if you pre-order it or you gonna wait for the view first. From me for today that's it. And if you like this video hit like and subscribe and I'll be back.